हाइपर जोमेट्रिक सीरीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीट इलिप्टिक इंट्रिकॉल ऑफ फर्स्ट काइंड एंड सेकेंड काइंड सो बेसिकली इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द इलिप्टिक इंट्रिकल्स दिस वन इज बेसिकली डिफाइंड एज इंट्रिकल फ्राम जीरो टू पाई बाई टू ऑफ वन बाई रूट अंडर वन माइनस ई स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा डी थीटा and uh, this one is defined as integral from 0 to pi by 2 of root under 1 minus e square sin square or uh, theta d theta and like if you are like confused why is it defined in such a uh, hard way so basically if you have an ellipse uh, whose major axis the same major axis is a yeah with same major axis is this thing if this is a its circumference will be uh, 4a integral from 0 to pi by 2 of root under 1 minus e square sin square theta d theta this is the circumference of ellipse yeah and from this in, uh, this this integral is not solvable in terms of elementary function that's why it is named as uh, elliptic integral of e variable yeah so that's the reason and us oh, and i made a mistake that if because here is the input variable is k uh, i should have actually written k over here yeah k okay. okay. fine now uh, th- i'm i'm not really sure like why this one was named as second kind and this one as first kind but yeah now th- those are the definitions and using this definitions uh, we will try to f- uh, s- find their hypergeometric series representations in this video uh, let's begin with the first one and if we do the first one i think second one you can do it yourself as well yeah so let me just do the first one in this video and i i will leave it to you to try the second one so 0 to pi by 2 of 1 by Uh, root under one minus k square sin square theta d theta. Yeah. Now, uh, this can be written as integral from zero to pi by two of one minus k square sin square theta to the power minus one by two d theta. Now, if we use the binomial theorem. So basically, if we have one plus x to the power n, this is actually equals to sum from uh, k equals to zero to infinity of n choose k x to the power k. Yeah. So you can use this thing, <coughs> and that gives us integral from zero to pi by two of minus one by two. Sorry, sum from k equals to zero to infinity. Of minus one by two, choose k, and then over here minus k square sine square theta to the power k d theta. Now we can change the sum and integral from the dominated convergence theorem. Sum from k equals to zero to infinity. Integral from zero to pi by two. Yeah. Now, uh, this one minus one by two choose k. Uh, this can be written as a uh, minus one by two, minus one by two minus one, up to minus one by two minus k plus one by k factorial. Yeah, you know from here also there is minus one to the power k. And uh, oh wait. Okay, so there are two k and k variables, so this might be misleading. That's why uh, we have to do something. Let's name this as n. Is n used? Okay, so n was used here. Let's name this as t. Let's name this as t. Fine. And so. Uh, this will be t. This will be t. 
this will be T okay so here also you will have G and also here fine oh, T T T T factorial 1 to the power T and then now we now have k to the power 2t sine to the power 2t theta d theta yeah now since there are t number of minus ones and also there are t number of these terms we can like uh, associate each of minus one with each, each of the terms and that makes all of them positive yeah so that gives us sum from t equals to 0 to infinity of integral from 0 to pi by 2 of 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 of 2 1 by 2 plus t minus 1 by t factorial yeah and now there's k to the power 2t sine to the power or 2t theta d theta okay now this thing over here uh, basically now let me tell you about the rising factorial uh, so our rising factorial means if we have a sub n this is known as rising factorial of a and this means a a plus 1 this product a plus 2 up to a plus n minus 1 this is not rising factorial yeah and also let me now like tell you about the hypergeometric function that I haven't really told about and I'm really sorry for that so basically hypersymmetric function or 2f1 for a b c x this is defined as sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of hyperfactorial of a hyperfactorial of sorry rising factorial of a rising factorial of b by rising factorial of c and then x to the power n by n factorial and uh, there are two variables numerator so this two stands for two variable over here numerator one stands for one variable denominator so this is actually the uh, hypersymmetric series formula yeah uh, I'm, I'm sorry for just introducing it now when we are in the middle of solution fine anyways fine uh, sum from t equals to zero to infinity now this is just one by two up uh, rising factorial base t yeah and we can take this outside the integral so we have 1 by 2 base t by t factorial also k to the power t and then there is this integral from 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the power 2t theta d theta now we can use the beta gamma function to solve this integral yeah sum from t equals to 0 to infinity and uh, 1 by 2 to the base t by t factorial k to the power 2t and this is 1 by 2 beta of 2t plus 1 by 2 and since there is power of cos 0 so 0 plus 1 by 2 yeah and now we can take uh, 1 by 2 outside this is sum from t equals to 0 to infinity uh, rising factorial of 1 by 2 to the base t by t factorial k to the power 2t and this is gamma of 2t plus 1 by 2 that means gamma of t plus 1 by 2 and uh, this is gamma of 1 by 2 by this is gamma of t plus 1 that's t factorial again okay so we have uh, 1 by 2 and also know that uh, 1 base n is actually 1 into 2 up to 1 plus n minus 1 yeah that means uh, the product up to n so this is n factorial so I can also write this as 1 by 2 base t by 1 base t k to the power 2t by t factorial and now this can be written as 
or t plus 1 by 2 yeah and uh, sorry not it starts with t minus 1 by 2 because this is the gamma function not factorial t minus 1 by 2 t minus 3 by 2 yeah and then up to uh, 1 by 2 times gamma 1 by 2 and this is also gamma 1 by 2 yeah now gamma 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 is basically gamma 1 by 2 is root pi so there are two root pi's that's why that is just pi pi by 2 sum from t equals to 0 to infinity uh, 1 by 2 base t by 1 base t um, k to the power 2t by t factorial now uh, we have 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus uh, like 2 let's say and over here it's 1 by 2 plus t minus 1 where so if you see it in reverse order this is actually 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 and it goes on and the last term over here is actually 1 by 2 plus t minus 1 isn't it yeah so that's why this is also 1 by 2 and uh, rising factorial and to the best t so let's write it like that and this one over here is also 1 by 2 to the base t so now uh, uh, from here we see that this is somehow same uh, to the definition of the hypersymmetric function that a sub t b sub t by c sub t x to the power 2 sorry t t by t factor yeah now for that our a should be 1 by 2 b should be 1 by 2 c should be 1 x should be k square isn't it so knowing these values we can say that this is actually equals to pi by 2 hypersymmetric series of 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 k square yeah k square and this is the hypersymmetric series for this function if you want to check it yeah that is it now you can try to uh, solve for the second one in the similar way like there's really no difference except that for uh, uh, now this will start from minus 1 by 2 and that will be minus 1 by 2 base t and everything else is same so the here we will have minus 1 by t yeah in place of b so that is it hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something new thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too